Uh, here I am again. Okay. What I want to talk about today is uh, money cannot buy you a better future. And uh, I want to use the story of the woman with the issue of blood in the Bible. The Bible says for 12 years she suffered with this disease and she paid doctors uh, all, all that she had. But yet she grew worse. And how many of us has wrenched our social our, uh, bank accounts and tried everything we can to help a loved one to get better without without making any headway at all? But just like in the Bible, but rather they grew worse. And they they said that a rich man at the end of his life would give all of his money for just one more hour of, of life and there's there's no doubt that that's true but you can't buy a life and um, Christ said that you cannot serve God and money and <clears throat> Because one is um, the enemy of the other, you know. <clears throat> I know a friend of mine who um, always tries to reach out for my money. You know, if I could just have enough money, then I can have a good ministry. Another friend of mine I just met the other day, he was show me how successful his ministry is by how much money that he was making and <clears throat> his paycheck would double mine you know he did pretty good as far as money goes and he wasn't doing all that bad as far as members goes and it does seem like God is uh, helping him out and that is to say that uh, money is a tool that we use. It's something that we um, ploy for our usage in, in ministry. You know, and, but the unfortunate thing about that is that most ministers think the more money you got, the better the ministry is. You build it bigger, they will come, you know. The big church down in Texas is supposed to be the biggest church in the U.S. Um, has um, a, a, was a baseball or a, a basketball stadium, I think it is, that people uh, gather in that thing. They they've turned it into a um, church, and it might even be a football stadium, but they've turned it into a church and. 10,000 people gathering that thing every Sunday. Probably have a couple different services you know, every Sunday. But unfortunately today people are flocking to that kind of a church. And they have no idea um, today that people are having a form of godliness but they're denying what God is all about. He's, uh, he's all about love. God is all about uh, getting us to heaven. He's all about stopping sin on this earth. God's still about healing. He's still about um, uh, sacrifice. Pick up your cross daily. God's still about all those things. Uh, but men still seek after money more than God. You know, I'm I'm putting these videos on because. Well, number one, they don't, they cost me very little to put on. And uh, they cost me more time than to do anything. But I'm, I'm happy that I can be able to do this. And, you, you know, you can't um, serve God on one hand and have money on the other. And try to 
and this hand pulling you in this direction, this hand pulling you in that direction. You know, and I, I've told the Lord, if if I have money uh, and I have not the anointing of God, then don't give me enough money to ruin me. You know, if I had uh, seventeen hundred thousand bucks, maybe a million, um, to do me, to, you know, retire. A million dollars isn't a lot of money anymore. But you know, I don't I don't need any more than that to get me through life. Uh, and to live comfortably and try to, you know, take care of health issues and that type of thing. Have a car and a house and uh, you'll spend half of it getting everything in order and then you'll spend the other half living, you know. And But money does not a ministry make, like I said before. And it does not bring the anointing of God. It can't do one thing to bring the anointing. It might make you happy. It might make you charismatic. But it's not going to, for a while, but it's not going to make you um, able to save or to uh, touch one person's heart. Man, you got to have the Spirit of God. Got to have the Spirit of God. God. All right, God bless. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you again next time. God bless.